Folks, Donnie writes out here at sportsbookreview.com coming to you with some Week 17 NFL scenarios that you might want to take a look at in the NFC. If we're taking a look at the playoff picture, it's pretty cut and dry here, folks. If Atlanta wins and beats Carolina in the last week of the season here, they will be in and getting the sixth seed in the NFC. If they do lose and Seattle wins with a victory over the Arizona Cardinals, they will turn and be the sixth seed as opposed to Atlanta here. So win and you're in scenario for Atlanta. Seattle needs some a little bit of help there with Atlanta losing. Could they lose to the Carolina Panthers? Sure. Carolina Panthers are a good football team. Ron Rivera stating that they are going to play their starters in that game. Still an outside shot there, folks, for the Carolina Panthers. Actually move up into the two seed, get a bye, and win the division, albeit a stretch there. You're going to need Atlanta. Excuse me. You're going to need the New Orleans Saints to lose to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and Minnesota also lose their final football game heading here down the stretch. But if you take a look at the AFC, a little bit more convoluted for that last seed here, folks. The Titans sitting in the driver's seat with all the tiebreakers. If we make it simple here, if the Tennessee Titans win their football game over the Jacksonville Jaguars, they will make it into the playoffs. If they lose that football game and the Chargers win, then the Chargers are going to be in the playoffs. Also with the Buffalo Bills pulling up. So you have three teams at eight and seven heading in there, but the Titans do hold. Let's say all three of those football teams lose. The Tennessee Titans will make it into the playoffs. The Bills a little bit more farther down in that scenario because they don't have the tiebreaker. If we take a look at that Charger game, that's the Nate Peterman game, folks, where they were going to bench Tyrod Taylor, which they did. Played Nate Peterman. He threw five interceptions in that football game. They lost. That's a key tiebreaker heading down the stretch. But for Tennessee, folks, it's win and they're in. Taking a look at some other scenarios heading down a lot a lot of stuff has already been determined. I mean, it's maybe some jockeying for positioning here, but if you look in the NFC, pretty much going to be the Eagles and the Vikings 1-2 unless something disastrous happens. The Eagles are locked into that one seed. Minnesota could actually move out of there if a couple domino effects happen there that we talked about a little bit earlier. Patriots and the Steelers both tied for their top seeds, but obviously the Patriots get the nod since they beat the Steelers in a head-to-head -head battle here. I don't see either one of those teams losing there. Steelers have an easy one versus the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland, are they going to come to play? Maybe, you know, get that first win of the season and we 17 here. I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're going to pull off the O for 16 in that one. Patriots also at home. They seem to have an easier matchup as well. They should win that football game. Jaguars locked into that three seed here, but mysteriously, folks, playing or saying they're going to play their starters in a meaningless game versus the Tennessee Titans. Not setting it up. If we flip it back over to the NFC picture, the Rams taking the rest approach, similar to what Andy Reid is doing with Kansas City. Uh, Sean McVay is going to rest. Todd Gurley going to rest their quarterback off. Also, Aaron Donald. A couple other key starters also will be sitting this one out. But keep in mind, folks, in the NFL, you can't rest everybody. It's not like college. You have 95 or 100 players on your team or 80 scholarship athletes. You only have 46 players active on game day, so some starters will have to play. But the key ingredients probably can sit these games out. Andy Reid known to take a bye. And why not take a bye? If it doesn't matter, if you're in the playoffs, if you have a home game, if you can't really improve your seating up to, let's just say, maybe a uh, bye week or it's like, you know, in your picture or in your thoughts that you can actually get up into that spot without anything miraculously happening, take the week off, rest your starters because those top two seeds, folks, they are going to be rested and waiting for you. Why not take a bye week out there? Should be some fun in the last week 17 heading into the playoffs. Some good spots shaping up here for us. As I said, the Rams, you also saw a lot of line movement in there. The Rams actually opened up a six and a half point favorite at a few of the sports books there, dialed it back down to three and a half point favorite, now completely swung the opposite where Jimmy G and the San Francisco 49ers now favored over the Los Angeles Rams. So a lot of fun heading in, but simple, simple scenarios that we'll go over again. If the Falcons win, they're in. If the Falcons lose and Seattle wins, they go into the playoffs. Same thing with the AFC. If everybody loses, the Titans get in, but pretty much it's a win and get in. They can all jump each other in there, but everything's fast it in just a matter of where those final seedings are coming out folks for everything on nfl playoffs and nfl playoff wildcard weekend coming up in the next few weeks check out sportsbookreview.com sbrodds.com a free odd service follow us on twitter at sbr sports picks and also follow us on youtube hit the subscribe button every single time one of these videos folks goes live you'll get the notification join in if there's a live chat box come on in folks and say hello join us here for the playoff run at sportsbookreview.com